Hello and welcome to our weekly review of the crypto market. Ethereum reinforces its deflationary nature. Nearly 143,000 Ethereum tokens were burned in May. Luckily for US miners, the 30% tax on their usage of electricity has been dropped. The crypto community has put yet another man-based crypto on the pedestal. Meanwhile, Bitcoin has recorded its first monthly loss since December 2022. The US debt limit saga continues. On a Tuesday, the deal was approved 706 by the House uh, Rules Committee. If passed uh, through Congress, the bill will then go to the Senate. Earlier, US President Joseph Biden proposed a 30% tax on electricity use from a cryptocurrency mining as a part of the federal budget for the fiscal year 2024. However, the draft debt ceiling bill does not include this heavy crypto tax. However, the situation for Bitcoin has changed for another reason due to a strong US economy and the labor market as well as persistent inflation, the US Federal Reserve will likely keep interest rates high. Moreover, uh, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Master sees no compelling reasons uh, for posing rate hikes. The US dollar has a strength and fueled by the Fed Reserve's hawkish stance and encouraging progress on the debt ceiling deal. Early on Thursday, the US dollar index was trading above 104 points, showing signs of a further growth. Meanwhile, the crypto market took a downturn, moving up from the level of $26,000 per coin earlier in the reporting week. The flagship cryptocurrency went slightly above the high of 28,340 on May 29. The digital asset showed strengths expecting the use to default on its debt. However, the deal instilled some optimism and the price of a Bitcoin went down. It's a now hovering around the support zone of $27,000 per coin. However, investor sentiment is now far from a positive. After four bullish months, BTC incurred the first monthly loss, down by approximately 4.6% in May. In effect, Bitcoin has been underperforming stocks, bonds and gold over the past four weeks. However, it should not disappoint BTC enthusiasts. After all, the coin traded at 16,000 at the beginning of the year. In addition, Ordinal Mania has caused increased BTC blockchain activity. As a result, Bitcoin transaction fees jumped. On the other hand, growing spam attacks have increased the time people have to wait for a transaction. The four assets were partly moved to other networks. In addition, BTC fans are getting increasingly disappointed, saying the flagship cryptocurrency is a shifting away from its original purpose. Nevertheless, the cryptocurrency community remains obsessed with the crypto tokens, and the popularity of a meme coins depends solely on the hype surrounding them. Dogecoin and Shiba Inu are the most uh, prominent ex examples of a trend in mem coins. They were recently followed by Pepe, which has become the world's third largest meme coin. The coin, which is based on the Pepe, the frog internet mem, has uh, performed one of the most extraordinary uptrends in the market since its launch in April and skyrocketed by a whooping 5 million percent. The achievements of a snack, the Cardano Network's new mem coin, are more modest. Since its official launch on May 15, it has gained 425%. Its market capitalization has risen to $61.6 .6 million from an initial $275,000. Being the first MAM coin launched uh, on the Cardano blockchain, Snack has reportedly attracted a number of new users from other networks such as Solana or Ethereum. 
Meanwhile, Ethereum itself has entered a deeper deflationary phase, experts say. In May alone, about 143,000 Ethereum, worth about $275 million, were burned on the blockchain. In a total, about $4.5 billion worth of tokens are scheduled to be burned in 2023, and this means the crypto market is in a for a potential long-term change, as Ethereum and Bitcoin are operating in a more independent manner from each other. The correction between the two tokens continues to deteriorate. For example, Ethereum had negligible losses in May, some tens of a percentage point. Against Bitcoin, however, Ethereum lost roughly 7% during that time. Over the previous week, the second largest digital coin added more than 2.5%. In the longer term, the decrease in the number of tokens will help Ethereum settle at new levels during the upcoming trading sessions. This week, Ethereum had advanced within the range between $1,767 and $1,920. On the other hand, both Ethereum and Bitcoin have been pushed down recently by the US dollar. Early on Thursday, the altcoin consolidated around the level of $1,865. Meanwhile, Ripple extended its uptrend even further this week and gained 8%. Early on Thursday, XIP surpassed the key level of uh, half a dollar and reached uh, 0 0.50 to 77 dollars. It's the highest level since April. However, it later retreated to 0.5177 dollars. Over the past few days, XRP has experienced another surge of optimism. It was triggered by the latest interview with the Ripple CEO Brett Carlinghouse who stated that the court case with the US Securities and Exchange Commission could be concluded in a week, so not months. The legal fight between the US regulator and the Ripple has been going on since 2020. Unlike Kraken or BlockFi, Ripple decided to take the sack to court instead of trying to seek a settlement. The company found strong support in the crypto sector, and the case itself can have major implications for the entire industry. And the last week on May was a mixed experience for the major cryptocurrencies. Most analysts believe that the US debt ceiling will be successfully raised this week, which could weaken the US dollar and the boost cryptocurrencies. This was the weekly review of the crypto market. The next review will be released on June 8. And see you next time!